Today, I'd like to talk about setting a custom white balance on an infrared photo. Unlike traditional images, photos shot in the near infrared don't need a proper white balance, seeing as they are shot in a wavelength of light that our eyes cannot process. This makes all IR photos false color images. With that being said, white balancing serves a different purpose. We can now use the white balance function to help tell our editing software how we would like it to interpret the image's color data. This will allow us to use the image's color data to its fullest potential, therefore giving our photos a much more dramatic result. I shoot all of my infrared photos on a converted Canon T5 with a 590 nanometer filter conversion. LifePixel.com describes this filter as their Super Color IR filter. While shooting in the default auto white balance setting, the camera will result in an image with a distinct red tinge. To get a better idea of what my final result will be, I like to set a custom white balance in camera by sampling a neutral tone, such as a white or a gray card. This custom white balance will then yield an image with this dull blue and yellow color. I can then take this final image into my editing software of choice and begin processing it until I get a result that I'm happy with. By further changing the white balance in post, I can get a wide variety of different results. There is, however, one huge problem that many newcomers to IR photography will discover when editing these images for the first time. As you can see here, I have an image open in Adobe Lightroom. This image was shot using my custom in-camera white balance setting, however Lightroom gives it a similar red tinge that would be seen in an image with no custom white balance. If I grab my white balance picker tool and try to correct it, I can't seem to get the result that I had in camera no matter how hard I try. Likewise, if I drag my temperature slider all the way to the blue, it still won't fix the problem. This is an issue with how the Adobe Suite interprets color data. There are a few different ways to get around this. One would be to simply use another editing application. I highly recommend Affinity Photo, which is a low-cost alternative to Photoshop. Affinity will recognize your in-color white balance information and give you the leeway to make the appropriate adjustments. Another alternative would be Raw Therapy, an open-source alternative to Lightroom that has a surprisingly powerful white balance tool. But what if you want to edit your images in Lightroom or Photoshop? Surely there must be a way around this problem. The answer lies in custom color profiles. In Lightroom, you might notice this color profile tab that says Adobe Color. We can create our own profiles using a tool called the Adobe DNG Profile Editor. It's available for Windows and Mac OS and will be linked in the video's description. The first thing we will need to do is to export a DNG file of one of our infrared images. Most cameras will save your photos as either a JPEG or any variety of different RAW file extensions. For what we are doing, we specifically need a DNG. Simply go up to File and choose Export, then select DNG and save it somewhere that we can easily find it. Then open up the Adobe DNG Profile Editor. Go to File and open the image we just saved. We should be greeted with a window that looks like this, with our image in the forefront and a sidebar with a few color modification options. Select the Color Matrices tab and find the White Balance Calibration option. Now take the temperature slider and set its value to negative 100 or all the way towards the blue. This is all the modification that we will need to do. Now we can export. Go to File and select Export Profile. It should say the name of your camera model and now we can choose where to save our profile. It is very important that you save the profile in the correct location, otherwise you may experience some issues. For Windows, that path is your C drive, followed by the users folder, then your username, then app data slash roaming slash adobe slash camera raw slash camera profiles. For Mac OS, it will be your hard disk, then library, application support, adobe, camera raw, and finally, camera profiles. Once you have your new profile saved in the correct location, you can close out of the Adobe DNG editor and return to Lightroom. Back under the Profiles tab, we can now import our new profile. Click on where it says Adobe Color and then select Browse All Profile Options. Then navigate to the three dots below the histogram and select Import Profiles. Select the profile you just made at the location listed previously, and now that profile should be available under this tab that simply says Profiles. Now as you can see, the white balance picker will yield a result very similar to our in-camera profile. We will also have the range necessary to make any modifications that will help us produce whatever effect that we desire. This has been a quick fix for anyone struggling with white balancing your infrared images in the Adobe Creative Suite. These profiles will also work with Photoshop if you so desire. I hope you found this tutorial very helpful. Until next time, thank you for watching.